All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the Serving It Up podcast, where I get to know individuals through the three pillars of eat good, look good, live great. Now, today's guest is famous in the LA culinary world, Los Angeles. She's as famous as the stars on Hollywood Boulevard. She came to LA in 1979 with $200 and a suitcase. She took over a small little Thai restaurant with her brother, Tui, in 2006. And since then has turned it into one of the most iconic and influential Thai restaurants in LA and almost North America. Now, here are just some of the accolades of this place. One of the best things to eat by LA Chef's Feed, um, 99 essential LA restaurants by LA Weekly, 101 best restaurants, LA Times, Eater's List of Essential 38, Spiciest Food in LA, Jonathan Gold, Food Network, and it was featured on shows like Top Chef All-Stars. And that's just the restaurant. Jazz herself is no stranger to TV. She's been on the Netflix series, The Chef Show with Roy Choi and John Favreau. She's been on Guy's Grocery Games, not once, not twice, but three times on Spice City, two episodes of Triple D, Triple G, and she came up on top winning that, as well as being on CBS All Rise. Guys, I am so excited to introduce you, my Thai mom, Sawanika Jazz. Sawanika, son, you know, I miss you in LA. Thank oh. God that you came before the COVID, that we need to meet each other, and you've been wrong two times in one week. That's I did. I, I came, and I was like, I had to go one time. I was like, the first time, we didn't get to try everything. So I had to go another time, and I wanted to try more food. But yeah, it was how, so good. How, how do you feel about the authentic food, you know? I, I love it. It's, for, you have to know the, what's the real thing to be able to then figure out how to make new stuff. That's so nice, yeah. That was yeah. a smart way. And, yeah. and myself, you know, every time that the show came out, I didn't even know it was going to be the show because Roy just been like you, like, just can you uh, teach me how to cook? And I know they have video, but I, I never dreamed that I'm going to be on Netflix and people can see me around the world. You're but sure. I just want to teach him the real ingredient. And I'm so happy that everybody do the green curry on my ingredient. And there's such a happiness. Like, this yeah. is the real thing that I cook every day Amazing. at home. I know, which is the best part, which is the best part. Okay, so Jess, so I asked you and I asked every single guest on the Serving Up podcast to either suggest a food or a drink so that we can eat and talk while we're doing this. And you suggested that we're going to do uh, Nam Pla Wan, right? That's hard. Nobody bring it out. But now today, everyone in the whole world going to see how to make uh, the street food, you know, every time you visit Thailand, you know, everywhere you're going to see the green mango that they shared it, and it came with the little mock of Nakawan. I got mine And, too. you know, so many, yeah, wow, that's beautiful. I didn't that's feel it yet. Good. I thought I'm going to feel it on the kiwi. You can that's, feel it as we're, we can feel it as we're cooking. It's all good as we're talking. Yeah. No problem. Because, you know, number one, it, it's not only used for uh, mango, any, um, any fruit in Thailand. It's so many things, even the, um, look, I forgot the name. It's like anything sour. Okay. The reason they make number one, because number one, it makes from palm sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, yeah, fit sauce. And that pretty color. I like it. Yeah, that was so popular for you. Now because, yeah, it, 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 you know, I, I don't know if you heard about um, Seven Heaven that Jonathan Go loved the most. And uh, they eat with, in Thailand, they call Bai Chapu. But in here, either Jonathan Go call um, Bitter Leaf or the Tea Leaf. But mm -hmm. it's so hard to grow. But it, it everywhere in Hawaii. You know, I see on the street, I want to jump down and then take that leaf because in LA, it's hard to grow. I have left over from winter and I try to grow because it, so many kids love that. It, it's like, a, you can use any kind of leaf, but when it comes to bitter leaf, they have their own favor. 
that you're gonna love it. That's why they call um, Seven Heaven on that, um, the sword almost the same, except the sword, fifth sword, um, they need to put the ginger on and dry coconut. Next, next step I'm gonna teach you because the same thing, but they eat with, um, I take a picture and I send it to you because since you do nam prawan, this is similar to nam prawan, uh -huh. but that's one you have to put, uh, you have fish salt, you have palm sugar, you have um, lit, little chimpet, because the chimpet you put only little, yeah. but the heavy on fried coconut. Okay. And uh, kalanka, this is the secret that nobody knows. Even myself, I just learned like a couple of years that. ago. A little bit of uh, chimpet, but more on ginger and kalanga. Oh. You have to fry the kalanga, yeah, small piece that boil it in the sauce and so you know, good. yeah, I, I send it to you later, it's yummy. And you know, the reason every time that I teaching people how to cook, I never measure them because I don't know how to measure. You know, use your finger, it's one of the best thing to taste it. If you want more sweet, yeah, that's I so yummy. With the cucumber first, but. Yeah, but it's good, you know, you can find anything to dip with it. it it's so yummy and that's they have so red good. onion. It's so healthy too, even even little palm sugar. It depends, if you love sweet, you put more palm sugar. If you love um, more salty, you put more fish salt. But last night I put only two spoons of fish salt, ah. four palm sugar, mm. but still came out because the fish salt is kind of salty with the chili paste. I like it, because it's like, it's sweet. It's, it's everything Thai food, which is sour, sweet, and salty. And yes. Spicy. Pretty favor, yes. Yeah, and then it's, it's I love it. Um, all right, so while you keep on making, uh, doing the uh, mango, I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? We're gonna talk about food. Yes. We've got to okay. talk about food with you. All right, yes. so, so Jazz, you're from Pak Panang, right? Pak Panang? Pak Panang, yeah, that, that, the, the, the province that I born with, yeah. So, what is like southern Thai food, like compared to you like, know, you know, southern Thai people. It's like small winlet. It depends on what part of southern of Thailand you live. The hometown that I live, it connect with the sea. The okay. canal, you know, behind my home is the canal. That's why, you know, nine boy and three girl, I'm a tomboy. Mm. So and, a and the, the food, people growing them in the backyard. Most of southern Thai people, they grow the chili, they grow the basil, the... Um, um, coffee lamb leaf, you know, like when, when you're gonna cook something, that's what I learned the garden from my dad. Since okay. I'm four years old, you know, you have to pick up the ingredient from the garden and all the house in southern of Thailand, they grow their own. You grow and then a lot. You garden everything. a lot. Like if anybody yeah. watches you, you put a lot on your Instagram, your IGTV, every morning is watering the plants. Make, they're like your babies. I didn't even want to go anywhere. And then turmeric, that's the main thing of Southern Thai cuisine, it's turmeric. Yeah. You don't have to go the garlic, you can go the scallion or onion, but turmeric and garlic is the main of Southern Thai cuisine. Mm. When you're talking about Southern Thai food, first thing you have to have is turmeric. Really? That's, that's the main ingredient? That's the main. And then a lot of seafood because I live close to the canal and the sea, the beach. You know, every morning, yeah, every morning my father pick up the fresh seafood from the boat. That is you amazing. know, they have deep sea fishing boat, that's why Chitlada food is always fresh because that's what we're growing up with. I that's always tell the customer. Food. A lot of seafood at the gelato menu, I remember, which was more than like, you know, more, more than meats or anything, like the giant shrimp and the, the crab. Yeah, the prawn, yeah. Oh my God, that was so good. You won't believe it. You do the fish oil in in present time. You know what my father do? The liver fish. When we were young, I hate that because it's bitter. But the liver of the big fish, he will boil with the um, lemon glass and kaffir lamb, and you have to eat it. It's better than fish oil. Uh, it's like hot, for hot liver. Oh, yeah, like hot liver oil. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but it, we all eat them since we were born. Like, like when you start eating, yeah. he will he, he will make it every day, and you have to eat it because it's vitamin. Uh -huh. It make you smart, make you healthy. 
Exactly. And the season of Thailand is the rainy season. When you grow anything, it's easy to grow because uh, half of the season it rain. Ah. And the the soil is like it's like black soil mixed with sand. Oh. That's why whatever we grow, oh my God, my backyard, you don't see any soil. You see only um, vegetable like cucumber, bitter melon, long bean, basil, chili, and I remember to scream out loud when I see the worm on the chili tree. Are you are you but scared of worms? I scare of them when I was little. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I was like, you can't not keep anymore. Them not now. anymore. I took, <coughs> I took it out. That's amazing. Uh, and like and, and most of the curry, they do the chunker curry. They <clears throat> It's a lot of coconut meal in Fountain of Thailand, but most of we don't have refrigerator. We eat like morning meal and lunch, and then you cook again on dinner, but you don't put anything left over on refrigerator. But they make they make the cupboard like a like a shell. Okay. But they have they have uh they have the copper in the front. And in the front they will make like a hole, you know, like make from I think aluminum. Okay. Because that's what you save the food. That's why uh, if you know Jonathan Go always write about Kua King, that's one of the top dishes in Thailand. You can keep it in three days without refrigerator. Because it made from turmeric curry. Okay. You know, make make it curry but it it's like dry. Make it dry like you do the beef jerky. Oh, okay. That you can keep it like a couple of days because most of refrigerator I think it's so expensive. And in, in small town on my age, they, they don't, not so many um, home have refrigerator. And plus, you know, you have 12 kids. Yeah, you, you got know, a big family. We'll talk about I'll, that. Well, well you, you brought, keep on bringing up somebody that I think we have to talk about, which is JG, Jonathan Gold. Um, gelato, when you first got it, Ruth Rachel already said it was a great restaurant. And then when you took over, you told me like three years later, like nobody really, really came into July. Yeah. And then someone posted and was like, posted your takeout menu. And then someone's like, one day Jonathan, Jonathan Gold's going to come. And you're like, who's yeah. Jonathan Gold? He from, I think he's from Chow Hao, Chicago. Mm. And Eric, then, his name is Eric M. He stay in the hotel close to Jitlada. And you say, why? They have Thai menu because he learned how to write and read Thai language from Google. Okay. And then he, he bring that menu home and translate like 14 dish. And then I told him like, this is crazy spicy. Like that for my home, like kidney fish curry. Usually it's not named kidney fish. Usually the fish tummy. You know, everything in the tummy fish, they jar it. They jar them with the salted. You know, it look like they do the anchovy. Yeah. Exactly the same, but this is everything, you know, like try whatever in the tummy fits, they jar them okay. on the sun. And then when they uh, fermented them, we make the curry. We, we use the juice. We don't use the, you know, inside thing. We just boiling them and then take all the stuff out that from the tummy. But the salt, you can feel like a fishy. Mm. You know, that's what you put the southern curry on and it make it strong. That's why Jonathan Go wrote one of the palakap of uh, the the best thing to eat before you die. Yes. And then But it's so spicy. So like when Jonathan wrote about you guys, like he came in and then everything went crazy. Yeah, did did you know the story that I asked Jonathan Go with Jonathan Go? I know. And I checking my leg was checking like crazy because I didn't even know what the food credit is, you know. And I didn't, I didn't know what the food critic doing to the restaurant because I never read the American magazine. I didn't know anything about that. Only thing I know, what I'm gonna do when people walk in and they love your food and I won't go anywhere. And this is what it works in day one that I start restaurant with my brother that make me so proud. We could look like the restaurant grow without notice that because 
because of the food. Even even now, I lost my brother two and a half year. You know, every day I thank to the heaven. I thank to the miracle thing. Like I never be in the kitchen. I'm just solely be the front reception and make people happy. When Tui die, I have to step on with everything because I have to test every day, even the sauce. Sometimes I didn't eat them like last week. I came to visit my daughter. I bring sweet and sour sauce and I have to go in back and add more things. Like, you know, you cannot do the food like one thing sweet, one thing salty. Like my brother loved the salty thing. Like mm -hmm. everything for him with no sugar. But for me, no. You have to balance that. That's why if he saw you cooking the Southern Thai cuisine with sugar, he can throw it away in front of you. Really? No, not even one spoon of sugar. But for me, you know, you don't add that much sugar. Like the spoon, you put like little spoon because you don't believe in MFG. Then everything that you cook, add just a little, not too much sugar on to, to balance the taste of the yeah. cooking. Mm -hmm. That's why everything at Jitlada is so yummy. And so because I know the food. Your brother, if he didn't put anything, no sugar, what did he use no. for sweetness? No, no, no. If something sweet, it's sweet. But it means okay. I'm talking about the curry. Gotcha. No sugar in the curry. You know, like southern curry, jungle curry, cooking. But with me, even now, I add little to cut it off. The, the you know, I don't like anything like salty, salty. I, I can't stand it. They're like a good pastry chef. Like a good pastry chef, they would put a little bit of salt in their pastry. Yes, to make yes. It balance. Same thing, but opposite. Yeah, that's why I say, you know, look at Thai food. It's so hard. But when, since you know the ingredient, you don't follow the ingredient. You follow yourself. Yeah. You're going to be best cook because you know what you, you, you know, every ingredient, they say two spoon of fish sauce, two spoon of lemon juice. You know, you can follow them for the first time, but how many water that you put equal? You What's, know, that's what Tui always say, how much the salt and how much the ingredient you put it on. That's what you can turn to be the, the best chef, you know, like this is, this is this much of curry. That's why Jitla Da. Even you left five years and you came back, you will be screamed like, oh my God, how did you guys keep the recipe like this? Because I have to tell them this is the family cooking. We don't think about money. We don't think about profit because if everyone can get income and survive, even now, I check with every restaurant, they only keep two people in the kitchen, two in the front because it's slow, but I can. I keep all of them. 11 of them, 9 on the regular day, and 13 on the weekend. Yeah, because COVID, COVID, you only sell three hours. That's why with the food, you have to make sure the preparation is ready for you to throw it in. That's why last night, I showed you a couple of uh, video in Jitlada. Yeah. Like why we can do it fast because on the weekend, I will control the kitchen. Like, okay, this is Pad Thai. But different one this is trim this is seafood but you can make the noodle at the same time and then you put all the meat later on but make sure you cook the meat before you put it in mm. so how are you <coughs> i need water yeah. take your water so so jazz so right now in la you're only allowed to cook for three hours or open for three hours no no people came out to order that's all you know, after eight o'clock, a few, but it it's not real order. It's not like you dry in, you know. Okay. You dry in people. <coughs> I'm choked. Oh, get some water. Water. Yeah. Mm. Cause we talked about this yesterday. We talked a little bit. Um, you, we we do the same thing where I teach people and I try to teach people to not cook with recipes. No recipes, no measurements. People ask me, it's very hard. Um, and you do the same thing. You're like, it's all about taste. Like when we were talking about the Nam Palan, you're like, start with a bit of palm sugar and then add some sugar and then add some spice and fish sauce and see how it tastes and all that. Does, do the people, all your chefs and your cooks, do they cook 
based on taste as well? Or are you over there just no. like, I need a little more of this? And no, no, we already have ingredients ready for them. You know, oh. the chef, the cook at Kilada, it's not they, you know, even where you came from, you can. We have the salt for, for, for different kind of salt, you know, different kind of curry. So but we mix it. it for them. Yeah. And they it's just, like, yeah, they just, they just add it on because they know like if the soup, okay, you have to put two, two. That's why I start with two, two. Either what, but the spoon is like the raw spoon. Okay. Because the salt, but if you want to cook with the stir fry, you have to cut it half spoon because you know, the balance of the salt is different. And we have quick salt, we have soy salt, we have oyster salt, but we're gonna have one salt that we already mixing. Mm. You know, you mix everything that what, you're not gonna out of taste. If you keep tasting, you're not gonna be done. But me, I'm not a chef. That's why every time I'm cooking, I even I believe in myself, I need to touching a little bit to add more thing that I want to add. You, That's you, me. You say you're not a chef, but everybody calls you a chef. Everybody calls you Chef Jazz. <laughs> that's what that's what that's what funny story about Kai Kosli came. It's funny thing that one of the producers from Food Network saw me in Jitlada with the yellow glasses, and I think they tell um, all the recruit people call me and say, you know, Jazz, you wanna be in the game show. It's funny thing that um, I didn't even know what it is. I never watched Guy Kosley game in my life. And I never go out to cook and I'm scared the more it's my language. Mm. When they say something about food and I didn't understand because I'm not in culinary school. I finished hotel men, men, men with the service. Yeah. You know, like, on, yeah, yeah. that's why I'm doing very well with the customer because I learned from uh, Dusitani Hotel. It's the first card hotel in Thailand and I love them. The customer is always number one. That's why I use the service that I learned to treat the customer. That's why it's so much love in Jitlada. Everyone step in, it not only eat the food, but the love from my heart. You know, like the reason I sit down four hours a day to do the plan because I appreciate like can I do anything to make them happy? You should see when they see, oh my God, Dad, this is your succulent, this is your chili, this is your basil. I think I give away over 200 pot of the plant. You give away a lot of what you plant, like succulents, peppers, you're telling yeah, me. Yeah, everything. And, and, and one day, one guy came in and said, Dad, something in my plant. And when he showed me, I'm like shocked, like, that's the turmeric that I'm looking for. I don't know how it gets into his pot. And he say, Yeah, you want me to bring you back? I say, no, no, no. I'm so proud. Like, you know, this hill, this big, because he put it on the ground. Only a couple of weeks. The turmeric, it's hard to grow in America. Mm. I tried. I put it on since March. You know, it just came out like a couple of weeks ago. The weather have to be crazy hot. Oh, um, okay. It's crazy hot, it have to be on the sun, and then the turmeric will bring you the leaf. And we use the leaf equal the kaffir lamb leaf to put it in our rice salad. The rice salad is the southern Thai cuisine. If you go to southern of Thailand, first thing you add is kanom kin. It's like the woman celery noodle with the curry, with the southern curry. Okay. Second is the rice salad. Third is the catfish. No, uh, the um, kidney fish curry and fourth is jungle curry. This four thing, if you go to southern of Thailand, oh no, Kua King, you know, this fighting when you sell it in the restaurant, like Jonathan Go, it, so we call him hero. You know, every time that he's talking about Asian food, he always left the small palaka for Jitlada because. He love authentic food. And one thing with Jonathan Go, he never hurt anybody. He, he don't like the food, he won't say a word. He will yeah. not write it down. But when he love, he want people to see what the real life of food is. And he the only one in the world that I still bring the food to the temple to murder it for him every week. Even last night, I dropped into the temple. Every weekend, 
three days, I will bring the food to the temple to merit to my parents, Tui and Jonathan Go. And um, I think his name is Carl, the chef that passed away in uh, Guy Gosali game. And the other one is, um, look at, I forgot his name. You know, people just talk about him a couple of days ago. The one that he died on friends. The chef, the famous chef. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I forgot his name anyway. Five people that cooking that I, you know, the only religion that they believe you bring the food to the temple when the monk eat the food and they pour the water to merge it to them and they get it. And I believe Jonathan go have everything he loved from the temple. Because the monk gonna chant for you. This is our religion and I, I believe. I believe strongly because anytime that uh, something like like slow time, you know, or you in trouble, you need help, you know, you just you just pray and ask and it's always come true. That's why you see me with the incense every morning because I believe. This is, this is the statue that I wear every day. It it bring you know, you see on my Instagram a lot that I pray every full moon. Or my Buddha room, I tell people to touching. It works. It worked for so many people. It worked for the Canada. It, I don't know if you know um, if you know the weekend. Yeah. I don't know how far we live. Okay, he's, Lama. He's close to us. He's close to me. Like, like oh my God. drive. You have to say hi to Lama. That's what my boy. He just texted me know. yesterday. I don't know. I don't know him. I wish I did. No, no. He's so famous. He's a, one of the manager. Every oh, time. Yeah, I know. They, they do. They do the um. They they build the building for him to run that to teaching people to teaching the art to teaching the music. It's like because he believe in miracle and I can see the boy that thirty years old it grow miracle like with you know deal with million dollar money in in a year you know he get um he get thirty thirty for magazine that's why sometimes the Miracle thing that you believe it work on you. That's what not only I I cook, not only I I do the the garden. I pray a lot every day, and I pray for all my customer. I pray for all the world. You know, like they can find the uh, vaccine that we we can go back to the real life every day. That I'm scared. Like life never gonna be the same. You know. Yeah. Only thing that. People have to wear masks, you know. Thailand is a very small country. Fifteen days ago, not even one people have COVID. Because everybody religion and they scare. You know, if if you have they didn't show it right away, you know, like I keep reading every day. When you go party, one person can keep ten person germ and ten person can keep hundred people. That's why, you know, America never stopped because people thing you know like oh i'm in america you cannot tell me what to do you know you i can do anything i want to i don't want to wear mat i want to go out party but this is the dead decision that's what i want to warning everybody yeah you don't love yourself it's okay but you have to love your family you know you have to know like if i talk to my employee every day please don't go out you have food to eat here every day morning Dinner, you just go home. Not only work, 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 but it means if you party, party with your family. Because one of you, you get one, you give it to your family, and then you give it to us. That's why everyone has to wash their hand, have to put the globe on. I pray every day, please, the COVID people don't even walk past by. That's the reason I didn't open the dye-in. Even they keep you dry-in for six feet, Nobody guarantee the safety of the customer. Right. Nobody guarantee of the employee. You you don't get money right now. It's fine. One light to leave. You know. Yes. The reason I open because of employee. I want them to okay. show why I take off my money. Chuka and me take off our income to make sure all the employee get income. This is called love and love and appreciate. You know. And I think the thing is the one thing when I want to. Jalada was it's family there everybody is family yeah 
doesn't matter if you're in the family or you're you're an employee. It is, yes, but you are right. Once you are in Jalada, even me when I was there first time as a as a customer, you guys treated me like I was like your your nephew or your son right away. And it was like, make sure you eat this or try that or and like so for you, you're you're one of the chefs and everybody that I was talking that I've been talking to where they're like, as long as I can pay rent, as long as I can pay my employees. That's all. I don't, I'm not trying to make money right now. We're trying to get everybody safe. And that was something you said to me yesterday. And, and I remember after I got off the phone with you, I was just like, ah, wow. You know, it was, it's hard. You know, you know, we born with nothing. We don't even have a clothes to wear. That's what I love Buddhism way. Every day they tell you, you don't die when you owe. You never know what tomorrow will be. You live today, you do the best thing. If everyone thinks this way, you help others if you can. I'm so proud of my two daughters because they believe in karma. That's what I get taught from my mom. You know, the karma in Buddhism way tell you to do the good thing all the time. When you start to do the bad thing or cheating, you will tell you, how about if you do to them, how about they give it back to you? That's why you're never going to do anything bad. The parents that bring the young kid to my restaurant, they love me so much because I tell them, in the whole wide world, the people will be your real friend and your best friend if you're your parents. Like, like my, my little daughter, she had the baby, and the first day that her husband, the sheriff, had to go back to work, she cried and cried. She said, I have to be home alone. I have to be with... How did you take care of Serene and Soria, you know? And I tell her, you know, when you call mom, mom sacrifice anything to make the kid happy in it. That's why you should be happy that you're not home alone right now. You have Jemerson, you have fun, you're thinking about, even he didn't sleep. You know, the baby not going to sleep. He, he only gets sleep to two, three hours a day. But I was laughing and I said, now you know what your mother treat you before you growing up. Now you're not going to hate me when I punish you because I'm so strict with my two kids. It's always, if you don't do the, the score, because they love to activity. they like me when I was young, you know, dancing, play basketball, swimming. But the good, I send them to private school. I tell them I pay a lot of money for you to survive at school, to learn math at you can because I'm not rich. I don't have anything for you. But the teaching, you have to do your job. I need 3.2 grade all the time because you do so much activity. That's why that the bargain between me and the kid, you know, that's why Serene on Dan team, Saria on cheerleader, no, Serene in cheerleader, Dan team, Saria be the um, student body be a white president of school and be a president on the last year of high school. And both of them go to UCR and UCI. And you know, it coincident that my husband work in Disney Imagineering and just ask them, did you have any intern that you accept? And then both of them doing on a human resort, you know, they, they, they know, oh, they have a available athlete, you know, that have good reputation because my husband, get borrowed from, uh, from Parson Corporation to work for Disney for 24 years. And he retired on Disney. He one of the big team in uh, Parland, in Disneyland. His oh. signature on top of the mountain, yes. Ah. Yeah, and, and Serene is the project manager in Hong Kong, but now every project is stopped, but uh, they live on, um, both of them live on maternity leave. And both of them get into Disney, you know, after that, retire. They still, you know, it, the hard work, it never die. You know, my husband always tell the kid, you have to go to work before the time and came home after the time. Like, yes. you're not time five o'clock. You came after you think everything done and you lecture her every day. You know, they work, three of them work together and then she gets sick and tired. But when you alone, you know how, how love from the parent. That's why this is what you feel with Jitlada. When they walk in, we treat them like a family. The first thing in my, my family is the honest. 
you know, you're not use your trick. That's why sometimes I see people sell this BC and they say, Tui. You know, they make that. He would turn around to me and say, you don't copy anybody. You don't sell what they sell. You have to do your own. That's why, you know, time, as time go by, you can, you can stand still like individual what you cooking. You know, your food, it, even people copy, it's not going to be the same because you not cook for money. You cook for love. You love to cook. You cook with love. I always call my brother. I tell my brother he's crazy, you know, how much he bought the crap, $22, and he sell the crap, $29. How are you going to sell? Why? Before he used to lower the food, I remember when we start restaurant, five ninety nine. You didn't even have money to pay the bill. And 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 you only advertise in Thai community. And when you went up to eight ninety nine, people yell you on the phone like, "Are you to buy five ninety nine?" They say, "Oh, oh yeah, five ninety nine. You dead, you know that's." And the menu were changed nine years ago. I just changed last year for one dollar because I I don't have money for for the market because everything it picked by hand. You know, until we trust the people that would pick that what, like I show you the coconut can. I tell people that make the food, like do the good quality of the food. Like today, let me show you something. It's the lady that I met her first time. This is the right cake she made from coconut. Mm. Yeah, I, I order like 200 of them today for the kids. Yeah, this is the uh -huh. youth map toy. You guys are having a baby shower today. Look, the high yellow. This is the yellow, this is made from coconut milk. Can you see them? Yeah. They put oh, the yellow, oh. they put the coconut, yeah. They use my toy. I tell them, use the good quality and the food came out good. The mapo coconut milk. Yeah, it's crazy. For those who's watching, um, Jazz actually, her daughters are having a baby shower. Yeah, if I don't have, if I don't have a diabetes, this is look. That this is, is really good. I love that. Yeah, they call Bua That is so good. Yeah, this is the lady that, and she sells so cheap. This is only five dollars. And imagine that she sit down and did um, did all the pumpkin. I I will take the picture and show you the pumpkin, the mango tin, mango tin, and uh, I think tea kai, the raw one, and put the color on that. That's what people cook with love. That's why I met her first time. She already make money like three hundred dollars for me in two weeks because I have birthday party. I have instead of you buy the American cake, yeah, you send them the 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 rice cake. I think I put one piece that you can see clear better. When we watch kids, we love to do this. Look, this one. Where is it? I yeah, see. here. Oh. And then so you nice. can take you can take the level. They like seven level. When you eat, you peel like each it's piece like, chewy. like this. It's yeah. chewy. And like, yeah, like I, I do that. I peel it. I eat it. I have to peel. I don't like the. Yes, I do the same thing. It, yeah. It's like. In Thailand, they call kanom chan. Chan, that means level. Okay. The level, and they make from the rice flour and coconut. You know, I, I usually, I tell you, I love dessert. I love Thai dessert, you know, like, like um, they make banana. You used to see, if, if you in my Instagram, it's the Thai banana. It's between um, yellow and green. The smaller one. It, yeah, the smaller one called Thai banana. You boil the coconut. You steam the you steam banana first, and then boil coconut, and then put this on, and then put sugar, regular sugar. But you know, even the white sugar, I don't use the white one. I use the 
I use the cane sugar from Tater Joe. Okay. If you see, five dollar per bag, small. But if you okay. bought the white sugar, because the white sugar is dangerous for diabetes people. That's why with sugar, I have to be careful because I have diabetes more than seven years. Mm. Usually, I love custard. Thai custard, it makes from coconut too. You know, in the future, if I have time, I want to spread all the Thai dessert because it, it's easy to make, you know, it's it not that much like even pumpkin. Okay, put the coconut and put the pumpkin on and put sugar on and you're going to see this is the dessert on the small towel. Jazz, when can, I, when can I live with you? Can I live with you? <laughs> Everyone that see me cooking gonna be, and I make it so easy. That I one know. thing with cooking, if you see me, I make the noodle, I call 10 minute noodle. Every day I eat the packet noodle because I have my jazzy jazz sauce. Jazz, it, jazz it, sauce. It's hot in the world. When you came in town, you took, take one home and then you're going to see like how how spicy it like triple dan silacha, triple dan and the chili that people make that the special thing is very, very tasty. <laughs> you know what I tell you, sweet and sour and salty? That's what Thai food is, you know. Uh, if you want to do good Thai food, you have to do like the taste of like, like they do. And in Thailand, when they peel the mango, you know, if you want to eat with it, they slide like you slide the cucumber. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you slide it very thin. Yeah, uh, other way. There you go. Yeah. And then, and then when you eat, it's all like this. So I'm wrong. So I'm wrong. Yeah. I did yeah. it wrong. Yeah, then, you have to. Let me see how you slide. You slide like they sell. No, you can do that too. That's what Thai people want. But usually if I make it, I make it thin. Okay. Like this. But because first you get a lot of pieces, you know, here. Yeah. And this is like a spoon. This is like a spoon. Well, yeah. the cucumber, I guess. Yeah, same thing at cucumber, yes. Yeah, same thing at slay cucumber, yeah. Okay. You know, in Thailand, they have another sour food. Um, they call lamut in southern of Thailand. It's it, same mango, but the other kind of mango. Uh, Big, yeah. yeah. The pink, yellow one? Did you put the dry shrimp on? I did. 100%. Okay. You told yeah, me. Yeah, see? Not only you get uh, get ingredient, it Thai people get ingredient too. Yeah. All right, Jazz. So I originally this whole thing had like an outline, had a structure of like different questions and stuff. I'm throwing it all out the window. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk. So there's going to be a little bit that I, w I do want to ask. Um, there's something I call in the weeds. So you know how like some chefs, they tell you, all right, we're in the weeds. We're like slamming with you at your five to eight o'clock, right? Everything is coming mm. in. I'm gonna mm -hmm. ask you some questions and you just gotta really quickly answer. Okay? Okay. Okay, so ready? Would you rather have yeah. rice or noodles? Noodles. Roy Choi or John Favreau? Roy Choi. <laughs> <laughs> I love Roy. You cannot compare Roy with anyone. Roy, Roy Choi, Choi or David Chang? Uh oh, Roy Choi. Oh, Roy, you are winning. I love, I love David, but um, I didn't know David much like I know Roy's. Roy okay. is a good heart. Okay. He has a good heart in the world. He does. Okay. Taco or pizza? Taco. Ooh. I eat taco a lot. Nobody knows, but because I use my own sauce. Ah, I buy burrito, but I eat with my own sauce. Your, your jazzy sauce is perfect. Yes. Okay. Pad Thai or mango sticky rice? Pad Thai. What is the most important Thai ingredient? Garlic, onion. Okay. If you have, you know, when people say they're allergic to garlic and onion, but your food is so good, it's yummy curry, and I tell them I'm sorry to tell you the truth. Every uh -huh. curry has garlic and onion. And then, but it's not that much to hurt them. Yeah. Favorite Thai food? Favorite Thai food? I think I love noodle. I eat noodle every day. Okay. Beef noodle soup. 
Yeah. Beef noodle soup. Mm. Yes. Okay. I use the raw beef. I use the steak beef and raw, and oh. put the hot water on. You never see me cooking. <laughs> it's almost like pho. It's almost like pho. Yeah, it it almost like pho, but um, I use the broth to make uh to make the broth. I pho they put something, but in our you know in our Thai food we we have favor from we boiling the bone like bone marrow. We boiling the bone marrow to get the favor from that. Yeah. And stew them, yeah. Mm. Okay, so next thing I want to talk about is looking good. You mm -hmm. always look amazing. You, we talked about this yesterday. You look 35 because you're 35. Now, you, you can zoom with me every day then. <laughs> Perfect. But you be said, the same I'm you 65. You're turn to be 66. Come on, 35. 35. But I'm young in heart. You are absolutely young at heart. But you've got a distinct style. Your glasses are always different colors. They're bright, they're vibrant. Your clothes are colorful, bright, vibrant. They represent you. And is that, is that something you just do naturally? That's just, or like, you're like, I want, I want. I, no, you know what, since I was young, I always a leader. When I do something, people follow me and that's my personnel because you know, when you think good, you're, you're only feel good with people, you know, you don't have any negative. One thing, you know, I'm so proud of my two kids, nobody judges anybody. Because every time when I rest them, anything that people pray, even I'm not rich, they get everything to pray at home. And then when people, I have a lot of visitors at home, like, like, over 10 people every year. And when I treat them nice, they want to give me something and then they take the kid out and buy them shopping and I always look at the eye. Nobody wants anything from anyone because anything you want come back to me because you don't do anything to trade anything. You know what I mean? Like you do because you can do it and you can help them. That's why both of the kids work for Disney Im Imagineering, they bought like Serene always take the backpack home to put, to rest the money and put the backpack back to Disney. Saria is always get the backpack and read and buy the book for the children hospital on board every year. After they start working, like you give back to other. That's why, you know, why the t-shirt it come up because Serene cannot have a baby until five years. And she read one of the ladies, she want to sell cheesecake. And she want to put cheesecake in Jitlada. And I tell her, I cannot do that for you because it involves the insurance. Suppose they eat my hot food and then they eat cheesecake and they have diarrhea or they have some trouble. It's going to be trouble. You say, mom, then can I do t-shirt to help other? Can I do your t-shirt? And I keep thinking, who going to buy the t-shirt? Like, just in my LA mom. But I am wrong. She sell hundred three shirt t shirt in three days. In three days and make me cry because like Because that's what you are. You are the LA mom. You are everybody every you are that you are everybody's mom that everybody wants and you know. And I try to support like I see I love Roy work, you know. Roy is such a wonderful one of the chair for um Lasagna, yes. you know, I, I, even I don't eat American food that much, you know, I will ask the kid if you want some food and just want to support him. Or, you know, Valerie cake, you know, I just want, I just want Valerie to, um, I ordered the, the cake from her and she did such a beautiful job, you know, it's like, try to, one thing with me, I cannot go out because I have small, can fun. I want to see them. That means if I want to see them, the first time I see them, they let me stay home for food 14 days. I'm almost die because I cannot go to the restaurant. I woke up seven o'clock. I woke up the middle of the night every hour because I love my grandchild, but I I cannot let the, the restaurant stay. But with Serene, I think by next week, I have to be with her the whole week because she need help, you know, because sorry, I have her mother-in-law, but Celine have no body. That's why it's so hard for the old lady to do two things at the same time, you know. 
it's like you have to sacrifice one thing to leave one thing out and only thing i i can keep myself stay pray like am there or not you know people honest like i am you know because i worry how they treat the customer i worry how they um when they have trouble with the guests how do they talk to the guests because i'm very very be careful about i'm sensitive about people get upset i if i'm in jitlada nobody ever leave jitlada with upset even they angry they mad because we have a lot of trouble when we sell dine because we have only three stop in the kitchen but mm. our food is fresh every single day and imagine how many people sit down how many table order tending at the time and you don't have stove to cook for them and they say why don't you buy the big restaurant and i i i always tell them inside of my mind dream on because i'm happy what i have and i want the quality of the food more than the money you know if you don't love it you don't come back but one day you're gonna know you never can find this kind of food anywhere in the world because every single dish is so special like sometimes i tell myself like oh my god i'm I didn't know that I'm a good cook, but it it came out so yummy that I don't need. Even okay. I wanted to call and say, "Hey, you know, your back. <laughs> yeah, it is like you know why? Because the ingredient is so. All the ingredient is fresh, and you know you don't care how much you have to pay for lemon glass. Lemon glass hundred sixty dollar per box. You know, like you make fresh curry every day because you want people to touching and dream that. I never can find anywhere when it is happen. And it, it does happen. happen. And it's not yeah. like a bias. Like that's I went I had to go to your place twice. I wanted to go every day if I could if I could. You know it it's well, it yeah. it like dream come true for cooking with love and love to cook, you know. People can you know like every time that I go to guys grocery game it funny thing that I tell guy that I didn't know anything about American food. You can send me back home. But finally, even I didn't know the game, I I root myself because of the taste of the food. Even the last game, my partner won't trust me because oh, really? she thinks she's a good cook. Yeah, because she's German. Yeah, I saw. I and, watched it. Yeah, and then she saw me put um, the the mojito base on the sauce, but she didn't know if she make the pork. You know, she make the German pork. The salt, if you bite the fresh basil, you're gonna be another paradise. That's why I do my jazz burger with basil. You know, when you mixing the taste of the food with the fresh herb, it change all the taste. You don't need ketchup. You don't need you don't need um, chili because everything is in there for the jazz burger. That's what make it different. So the jazz burger. Let's talk about that. That's the secret menu item that you know. It's it's a little viral if you want. Jonathan put it out there, and everybody now knows about it. How did you? When did you decide to put it on? Like, what was the whole thing about it? Did you know the story why it jazz burger? Because I, well, I know you made it for your daughters. Yeah, because she won't bring right to school, or she bring the right back from school, she get spanked from me because I make crab fried rice. And she didn't eat crab fried rice. She buy one dollar rice right, and eat with soy sauce. Don't you mad at her? Because she want to be like American. Okay. That's why. I'll tell you a story. It's like when I was a kid, my grandparents. I I I sort of regret it. But when I went to elementary school, they make me dumplings and noodles, and I put in a thermos. I remember I would go. Yeah, to school. that's what I do. I go to school. I opened it. I remember the kids would go, "Ew, what is that smell? Yeah, that's what I don't. It smells disgusting. It's not good." And I would be so sad and upset. I would close it and I go home and I'd be like, "Ugh." Why are you giving me this, yeah, mama? Like if everybody was making fun of me about it. It doesn't taste good. It's you said it smells, and I was like, I just want a sandwich. I just want you know all of that. So I I understand it. That's what that's what happened to her, and she like ten, eleven grade already. You know, ten, mm -hmm. eleven grade already. That um, that um. She feel gonna make me fun of her because it's all white people. Because I send her to private school. Yeah, you know they both in private school since first grade until twelfth grade. You know, 
it like in the religion in christian school we like christian school that's why they both get both religion you know like thai like buddhism and even myself every day that i came to jitlada i will pass by the church and will sell all miracle you know i believe you know the god protect jitlada let people see where we are and i i feel it work you know i i respect religion mm. and it work yeah um all right so like i said random the whole thing is all gone there's no structure to this anymore um <laughs> all right get the real story for me sorry i i love this okay so jazz there's something about you opening up obviously in hollywood in hollywood sense of boulevard there's celebrities all the time there's every single celebrity's gone there like they're all on the wall you know Henry Golding, Ryan Gosling, who else? Justin Bieber, The Weeknd, um, all these people. Are do you ever get starstruck, or are they more starstruck to see you? You know, I tell you the truth. On Hollywood movie, he almost every day at Kitlada, you know, but now I think he have two kids and he be producer than the star. I didn't get to see him like over two years, but they, you know, in Thailand, it act like a chin up, but not American star like Ryan Gosling. He can walk through the kitchen to see Tui. He can run to me and, and tell me like i'm so hungry i came back from the gym and, and he always loved my cook. he want to learn so much about uh, the basil chicken because he told me he lived in thailand for six months for the movie nobody can beat Tilada for the spicy basil chicken mm. and i always joke with him that i heard you have the restaurant and teaching you but um Mila Kunis and uh, Aston Kutcher, before they have the baby, they want me to teach them how to cook, but she have the baby, I don't get to see them anymore. But uh, one time my daughter walked on the street and they do um, the interview about Motorola and then they put her in. Uh, Aston Kutcher, it, uh, Stuck Thai, did you know Chitlada? And she said, Of course, I know Chitlada. And she said, Did you know Jazz? And I, I was crying. I said, He remember me when he didn't come in for two years. I say, and sorry, I say, Jazz is my mom. And it's like, How do they remember even, you know, we are small print, but I love the most it Azid Ansari. Oh. Azid is advertised a lot about Chitlada. And uh, he brings so much celebrity to our restaurant, you know, like um, all the company from New York, it will pass by because of uh, Aziz. And when he in trouble, I was crying. I hope I be a writer to tell the whole world, like, it's no way that this guy is going to do this, you know, and I'm glad that finally all the newspaper cover him because they know his personnel, that no way that the lady came and that lady, not virgin lady that met him the first time, you know, like how many guys that she sleep with and she never mentioned. But, you know, he just get the trophy from what he worked hard for, like, it broke my heart. I feel like pain more than that he pain because I feel I saw him growing in Jitlada. Like when he write um, park and recreation, he would be there every single day at lunch. And he say, why you be here? And you eat expensive thing like the whole fish is like $30 fish that time. And you say, don't you know one thing after I eat your food, my brain would work. And Everywhere he go, he will mention people. And even now he live in England, he's all the way back and forth. Like that one celebrity that come and then Dev Patel from the uh, Slumdog Millionaire, you know, um, Dev and uh, what, what the girl name? Look, I'm bright today. 
you know, like everyone walk in and and feel like a family. Yeah. That still keep in touch and I'm nobody. You know, like 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 I always joke with Tawiti, like we are small. You know, I don't know what to call in America. Like we came from very little town and no one know us, but. In that town, my grandpa, the leader of the town, and my my grandpa, it it, it gave me a lot. Even even now, I I make his statue and leave it in the airport. If I came home, I'm gonna bring the statue back to southern of Thailand that he keep away the land for the temple. It's like the end of the beat. It's so beautiful. I say, oh my God, if it belong to me, but it's scary because it always torn a door there. You know, like where uh -oh. all the wind led down yeah. to. To the sea, and I think my mom still have like fourteen acre in in Thai in Thai language fourteen acre, but maybe um, two and a half acre, maybe seven acre because they divide by two. Yeah, the land still there, but we cannot do anything because the water always came up. They used to do the trim, you know, like like grow the trim in there, but when the water from the sea came up, it took out all the trim to the sea. Oh. That's why this. That's why the land is empty right now. It and everyone live in America right now. You know, I don't know if I can go home again. But now they have video. They have um, Instagram. It's gonna be so much fun because I growing up with the Air Force. All my brother be a general right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the real family, but it's better than family. That's all I can say because they love me so much, and we when they train in in in. Um, Arizona is always stay over in my house a couple of days and like I told you I always have visitor more than 10 a year and we be like big family every time I go home like 40 of them together every day with different kind of food they will send the food from southern of Thailand all kind of food that I want to eat the big giant crab the, the prawn you know like make it like spicy seafood sauce it's like See this thing you never can buy them because you grow them little by little with with your own heart and you never think about return. But I know them since they in the pre car date, but now one of them gonna be the top five of the Air Force in the future. Because he have like six more years to stay in the government, but he very kind, he exactly like me. Always help other, always give when you can. You know, like to live like when you like that's why I love Roy. Roy is not famous, Roy is not rich. John is so nice because he famous producer. I didn't even know John that day. That's why when I teaching them how to cook, I watching later on on TV, I was laughing so loud, like, look, don't throw away thing because John have garden in front of the house. John Fabel. Yeah. You know, he grow everything, he have chili and I told him like cut the stem of the Lemon glass, you can have the lemon glass. That's why I sit down at the backyard and prove to the movie. Since they came out to do the movie, and a lot of people get to know me from the chef show. People run to me, you know. I would sit down, eat in Ikea, and I'm like, what, what are you doing? He said, oh, I want your picture for my husband. Or some people came in and said, Jack, can I have your picture? I was laughing, like, is, is that famous? Like, some people tell me I love you more than a celebrity because you can cook. You know, you you are star of my life because I love to see you cooking and and all the American chef always tell me when you cook, you don't tell people everything. Some of them tell me and I say that's wrong. You know, like me, I have like a thousand ingredients in my head that I create them or I learn from what kid. Why you don't tell them the truth? How they gonna make the good food if you don't tell them the truth? That's why I tell all the secret. Cooking, not only you cooking. Make curry, not only throw the curry and coconut in the pot. You have to stare them. You can see the smell, the, the I don't know the true explain in English, you know, but the, the flavor is good because of smell of burn of the curry a little bit before you put the meat. The, but the, you, the caramelization. Yes, yeah. It 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 make it different than you pour coconut and you pour 
you pour the curry and then put the meat. No, it's different. It's completely, you have to try. That's why I tell all the customer from Tilada, if you leave far away any ingredient, not secret. I have like two, three things that I cannot give away because it's like special of the how I cannot give to them. But yeah. the most anything you want to know when I'm cooking the kitchen, I will show them right away because about the curry, you can Google what do they put in the curry. One time you know the ingredient, you can add what you like because you know when you love the cooking, it's one of the artists of the world. You know, like how you're gonna make them beauty, how you're gonna make them colorful, like why green curry is so green? Because you use all green chili. Why red uh, curry is red? Because they use the dry red chili instead of the fresh chili. That's what makes different. But if you live in America, you cannot find the Thai chili. You can use jalapeno. You can can use, you know, like substitute, like like Chinese broccoli. Most of the Thai restaurants, they don't use them because they're expensive. Mm. But I growing up with the real food. That's why if you, you're talking about Pat Seal, some people put broccoli. I always put Chinese broccoli. It's yeah. caught more. It's caught more, but it makes it different for people. Like if you travel in Thailand before and you came to Chitlada, you always tell me like Chitlada food is better than Thailand. That's what makes me proud. That's what all my customers always do that to me. Like, yes, I'm in your country, but trust me, I, I miss your food. And they go to southern of Thailand. That's what go to Phuket, go to Panga, you know, that, that because of you, you so real, you know, you give them the real thing and they, they're touching your test and they will. Yesterday, one of the people in the Thai consulate, they want to call me about something about the king picture in Disneyland. They need to post it in, uh, in Thailand. And he tell me like, P, that means sister. I say, you know what? You have the best pineapple fry, right? And I say, are you Thai? And you tell me that. He say, his father used to bring him to the best restaurant in Thailand. But it's long time, it's like 30 years, no longer. And then he come to America. He didn't believe that he can find pineapple fried rice right? exactly the same that he eat when he was a kid. Because, you know, with fried rice, right, the pan have to be hot. With the noodle, if you stir fry, I learned the secret from so many chefs that I asked them, why when you cook the noodle, it doesn't stick on the pan? Because the pan have to be heat. When you, you put, and we always put egg, you know, we yeah. cut egg and noodle. It, it, now they have non-stick pan, but how about you don't have, in the old time, we have only wok. The oil have to be hot, and then if you love Thai food, the chopped garlic have to be at home. The chopped garlic and the grilled garlic, two things, important, because when you make noodle, on top of that, you put the grilled garlic. Mm. Yeah, I put it all the time on the noodle. and it's okay. You can it's so drink, good. Yeah, it's so good. And you can use the packet noodle, the salt is in there. And if you want to add, I add little sugar because I want three flavor. And I use the vinegar that I make with my own. That That's what I eat. If, if you check my Instagram, it's everyday noodle. Instagram. You know Instagram is so tasty. <laughs> so much good food and like, your Instagram makes me happy. It makes me happy because it's like, it's, it's so it's just you. It's all you, which is, I like it. You know what I learned from people in Thailand tell me, you put the food and in midnight in Thailand, I have to run to Thorung. Thorung in Thailand, that means all night long. That the, they sell the food all night long. That's why they oh. call Thorung. Rung, that means early in the morning. That means okay. Thai language. Rung and run, that means early in the morning. And to room, that means you to, that means you stay over until in the morning. And uh, that's why I do Instagram every day because I know the food it works. And you can tell, like today, why so much celebrity chicken? Because I post celebrity chicken and people want to know, you know. You are a business, you're a businesswoman. You are a chef businesswoman. <laughs> no, I learned it by Let myself. Me. You're you're superwoman. You're your LA mom. You know, people want to know who I hide for my PR and I was laughing so loud. I say, Oh, I hide the old lady. 
she loved to cook and she cook with love that's why she do good on pr <laughs> you know i did i did get involved that much people the the thing that i get involved in my family i didn't have time to go out to watch the movie i never sick and tired to be alone because i have so many things to do i feel like when i'm gonna have 30 hours a day because i didn't have time to sleep do you with you being so busy like i sometimes have that problem like i have i feel like i'm like asking you like from like a mom, like for a mother advice it's like how do you deal with taking care of yourself and all these people and and you know everybody sees you and you've got all these things going on like what do you do to you know, stress or take care of yourself when i'm straight i go to the garden i think the garden make me you know since i'm in the garden i encourage so many young lady that she walk into my garden and i tell them don't you get sick and tired of watching me water the plant but one thing that you notice that the plant grow you know what i mean like everything like in the morning i have to come to my kid home and i'm gonna stay over here and you know i'm not happy and my husband no he say because it's gonna be heat how about the plant that i just you know i just separate the holy basil they like 40 of them because um alisa sing her beer she her boyfriend put like i learned from her again like you know you make a hole and you put like six seven seat on okay when they come you know like this is eight seat this is ten seat and when they came like half in you can see like now they like two inches that's why yesterday i took it out like 10 10 tray of the holy basil and same thing when you grow the holy basil or the basil you have to cut the flower out when you leave the flower on the the tree i just learned like three years ago because i went to eat some thai restaurant and i asked them how do you keep your basil that tall and they say you don't leave the flower on because the flower make your your plant it's smaller and smaller because they cannot grow but when the flower came out you don't use it you cut it out but if it baby flower from basil you can put it on the curry because it tastes smell stronger but we only keep it longer i show them on the instagram because i want the seed to grow it for you but for me the stem grow faster that's why I have every two weeks bring it out the basil because when they took it out the leaf at Jitlada, I will cut the end and put it in the water. And the root came out, when the root came out, I will put all the root on the big pot. It's like 20 of them. And then I will sit down, take one by one, mm. you know, put in the small pot and keep it away. And I tell them, you should love my plan because my plan, it take me a day and day and day like, seven days a week to keep away for you with love then you should love them and grow them with work because one chili can stay with you three years because the chili that i post it in the morning i i i i put close by it all the chili three years ago they will die on the winter if i can put them back to the pot i will put them on the pot to hiding because the water turned to be i behind my backyard on the winter that's why all the plants gonna die even the turmeric. Like I told you, I grow turmeric since March. It just came out like June or July because it have to be heat to get the turmeric came out the leaf. And it's very healthy right now. You know how much the capsule they sell in Costco, like $20 per bottle. Mm. But if you grow them, you know, you can eat them every day. You know, in Thailand, my father always put the the fresh turmeric, you know, he branding them and wrap with all the meat or the fish and deep fry them for you. You know, that's what my father, most of the uh, fish in Dietle died came from that, you know. Mm, okay. So we learned from that, you know, like like fresh ingredient to put it on. That's why we have like seven things in the sauce, you know, like mango salt, tree favor salt, curry salt basil salt or steam with lamb juice steam with ginger mushroom like chinese style because i think my my father learned from from chinese chef when he was teenage you know okay. he used to go with the boat and uh in my hometown it's a lot of uh Tajiu people it came from china to live in thailand that's why 
we have fresh duck, we have fresh chicken to eat when we were young. We never eat the thing from the freezer at all, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what we're growing with. And every time I see people um, have the chick, that's what I do when I was young, you know. We save the money and they, when they lay the egg, oh my God, you should see. It. It's so many kids in the house, you know. You will fight over with color of the chicken. It, it belongs to you. You know, like my parents, it never let us go out to um to stay with anybody but only me and my brother when i was 11 years old at my my mom uncle asked me to go out to live with them because they have kids and they tell us like oh the kid want a, a friend you know if, if yeah. he can take the kid from my mom to help my mom because my mom have so many kids and she said no and i said no no i want to go because I, I I don't want to live with mom because mom always spank me. And then same time at Tui fell on the school, he have to 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 live in same school with my younger brother because Tui number one and the brother number two, he he feel shame and he want to go to the province. And both of us have to live with someone. You know what they do to us? They woke me up four o'clock in the morning to clean the floor like maid. I have to wash the dishes, and I'm so little, very skinny. And every week you will say, oh, you eat rice? You tell your mom, bring the rice on. And this is not family, you know? Every time my uncle mom gonna give me money, he have to hiding. You know, when he give me 20 baht, it means you have to live with someone else that's not your family, and you learn so much that how to survive, you know, like only one or two months and then my mom moved us back to our auntie home. But I still have to study until finish that year before I go to high school. But it means Toi and me, and Toi have to live with the house that they sell the um, cashew nut. He have, to, he have to do the cashew nut on the sugar. It's like huge tray for them to sell. That means... <laughs> You get used what by other people, you know, like instead of instead of uh, live with parents and then Bowie and me have the same thing that we have to be careful when we be with someone else. Mm -hmm. We gentle because we learn from other. We learn from people, it's not family. You know, this is like bad experience in our life, you know. Yeah. That's that's what I say, you know, on twelve kids, only two kids that get out from the how and me and him are you to be enemy like fighting because I I didn't bow my head to any one of the brother. Fight again one because that loved me so much and everyone fight with me, they get spanked. That's why, you know, the leadership is in my blood, you know, like I'm confident to do anything and I walk with straight. People see you on the side, on the top, on the Tall, it it's you. You don't have anything to hide anyone. That's why you know the survey plus the Buddhism way. It it makes success in life, you know, and and you get something to take out the straight out from 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 trouble, because you believe the trouble can go away when 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 you believe, you know, and it 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 is true. That's why. I suggest people when you get upset or something, talk to someone, even little thing. It bring it out, you know, because commit suicide only one second, you know, you didn't didn't even thought that tomorrow never come. And I did one in my life. I did one when I was teenage that the kid doesn't know. But it's so stupid, you know, like thinking about your parent, it doesn't love you. I just thought something like, like, you know, it it like, oh, when people die, they're gonna cry. That's all, you know, the kid, that the kid idea. That's why I saw so many people lost the kid and I feel bad. Like, hug them, pay attention of them because I just put the video for my kid because one of the kid crying because mom have little baby and didn't have her at all and she feel like left out. Mm. You know, that's why I get so much experience to share to all the kids when they came to the restaurant, say, love your mom because your mom is one of the best things on earth because 
they sacrifice anything, anything, you know, no money, they will find the money for you. No food, they will make food for you. Even, you know, like, because I growing with 12 kids, imagine how you're gonna have money to give the kid to go to school. But my mom have the grandfather that leave so many property and land for her to get the money to the kid. That's why all of them get good education. And my mom is a teacher. That's why we kind of on the rule. You know, it it a lot of rule that 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 we become the best people today. You know, and I want people to learn. You know, giving, honest. You know, appreciate that 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 me and my kid. You know, and and bring you. You know, every time you do good thing, nobody see. God will see. That's what I keep telling. Yeah. Right. That. That's like I'm at the spot right now, just like listening to you sharing, and it's. I want to say thanks first. That's thank you, thank you for that. And you see, Roy. You see, Roy. Roy do so many things. Yeah. He doesn't want anything to return, but um, sometimes the road is like cricket road. You know, you think this is good for you, but it's not good enough. That's why. The Buddhism tell you don't be so happy when you get thing, or don't be so sad when you sad thing. Like walk between the middle, ready every time that thing hit. Because I used to lot the whole house, the house burned in southern of Thailand, and I see my mom have my kid, and we can grow to be a good kid. It not, it not the materiality, you know, like not, not the house, not the clothes, not the expensive stuff, you know, not the jewelry, but the heart of gold, you know, like yeah. you have in here to share, to I'm lucky in Chitlada because all the customers turn to be Jad family, you know, how Jad doing, you know, I will support you and I did so why because of the love from from customer, I can say that strongly. You give so much love. Um I think listening to you and you like talking about just be positive and do all these things. It's for me when I um, when I when I when I had cancer and then oh wow I, yeah. So um, one thing that I taught myself was we as humans have a responsibility to positively influence somebody anytime any every day. It can be opening a door. It can be saying hi. It doesn't have to be big. Oh, little baby. Little baby. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah. 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 อยู่ตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตั
Yeah. Mm, he's so good. He's so yeah. good. Thank you for, for investing on me. No problem. Jazz, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to do something now where I wanted to share um, my screen. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to, there's a couple photos that I'm going to ask you some of the stories behind. So I'm going to call, it's called Social Hour, okay? Okay. All right. And you can just tell me, you can just tell me the stories behind this. Oh. What is, what is this about? I didn't even know we we're going to get this, but I think people, we used to get one when we opened the restaurant. 2009, I get two star of Michelin. But I lost the book. We get it before, you know, before they come back. And this is first year they came back. It did make a chocolate. Without my brother, how come I can get Michelin, you know? Mm. And I just learned that people vote for you. Yeah, that's why you get it, because that's people amazing. vote for you. All right, uh, next one. You do this all the time. <laughs> so if so, if you know, everybody wants to go to your restaurant waits. They got to wait. But you will go out and you'll say hi and talk to everybody. You know, this is the big support of the restaurant. Nick represents all the music people. Yeah, all the music, Nick, oh, they love me so much. They still order the food almost every week. That's a matter Because they support me to survive and say, I love you so much, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the behind one is the boss, is Nick, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one. Oh, this is the whole family that uh, Serene and Chuga and Saria and Nikki is on uh, Saria brother. Uh, I think uh, the the older brother, brother-in-law is get married. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you picked the whole family, yeah. Got all That's of them. That's what the father of um, Bunke, like they do the baby shower today. Ah, uh, okay. Today, yeah. Okay. Oh, so he talked to. Talk to Ah, Jameson. Ah, that's a okay, famous so, guy. Yeah, I wanted to ask you this. So you, have, you represent the Asian community, not just the Thai community, but you represent the Asian community. So many of you got of like, everybody looks up to you. And like, so you got like, you got these, everybody here. Like, yeah, I have to thank you, uh, Asian dude. Asian dude. Okay. Jimmy Oyang. Okay. Jimmy Oyang, yeah. Yeah, that's Roy. Roy. You know, it's funny thing, yeah, Roy. Yeah, this is the homily, right? Yeah. That's Serene. You know, they won't believe me that I can bring, you know, Serene crazy about him. And I say, one day they're going to come over. And I call them. They already went home. And they say, no way, Ma. They're not going to come to you. I say, believe me. Because Jimmy, the one who told me that he can be. Oh, That's crazy. Yeah, because yeah, he, all he, he loves everybody. The they all like support you, and that's crazy. So I just wanted to bring that up, just to be like, these are people that we in society look up to, but they look up to you. So I'm glad to hear that. You know, you pick such a good picture. That all important people in my life. You know, they are. All right, uh, Jazz, this one, the t-shirt you're talking about. <laughs> right. That was the yeah. t-shirt. So it go to the foundation, you know, give to the mommy that cannot have the baby and go to the kids in southern Thailand that need the need the money for uh, need the money for, for school. Are the are the shirts still available? Yes. You 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 can call with you can win more to which love Serene and then she will she will send it out or you want her to save them until you come back. It's okay. I think I wanna make they have like sure 30 left. Like, yeah. That watches or listens to this, they can go check it out. So just to go check out is with Love Serene. The shirts are there. Yeah, yeah that the uh, that uh, with Love Serene uh, or you can uh, text to uh Hitlada at yahoo.com the email, yeah. Yeah, right. because Chuka, Chuka and Serene take care about it too. <laughs> ah, I love that. That's my first date with my husband. Is that... 
show him now. I want to show him right now. He's 69. That time I'm 28 and he like. Oh, so no. seven years ago. So only seven years ago. No, it's uh, 41 years ago. How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, good. Happy yeah, he lived in Canada. He's a chap and he loves Canada. <laughs> I do. I love it. You guys are amazing. So I wanted to bring this up. So I just, because everybody talks about you and I'd be like, you have to talk. I, because your husband has to be like, oh my goodness. My wife is <laughs> so famous, all this kind of stuff. The sucker land that I give away, 100 of them, it belongs to him. I used to yell him like he, he grow something that I cannot eat. But <laughs> now this time, you know, like two days ago, he said, I'm not going to give it to you anymore. Mm. Because I say something and he you're say, the, yo. You look incredible. You look incredible. Even back then, you have crazy glasses. <laughs> That was me, and then I I bought you know like a couple of years later I wear the glasses like man, the one that the man wear. Ah, uh, got you. All right, Jazz, this one. That Tripadi, Tripadi in the kitchen. Yes. How yeah. how incredible was it? Because everybody here is like cool, very open characters. So it must have been like super loud, a lot of laughing and... I love Guy, you know, so many people, you know, if, if one of the chef doesn't tell me, don't go Jack, you're not gonna win. That's what make me go because how did you know that I'm not gonna win? That's why, that's why I go for Guy Kosali game because one word from the chef in Hollywood, I cannot name them, but you know, you underestimate me. I, I want to know what it look like, you know, and I'm a ambition people too. When, when they say no way you can not gonna make it, I will make it. Well that's, that's why what. I think that's when I can bring up this one then. <laughs> Twenty thousand dollar on the way. It's forty thousand dollar, you know, it get it, Jazz. You know, I use the cyclic of the Buddhism before I win because I pray I pray the land before I walk in. I don't know who it on that market. The miracle thing will protect me and let me win, but our food good too, not only winning, you know. How was it hard? So like I like I did chopped, right? I did chopped for top chef, but like how does gr guys grocery game is it it's hard. It's hard it's hard game, it's not easy. Because how did you cook and chopping in I think th not even 30 minutes, I think 15 minutes, chopping six, six minutes, chopping and cook in 10 minutes. I, what I love about watching you is when they're like, go, go shopping, you go straight to chili, garlic, salad, fish sauce. Sometimes you just need to go to that area. Yeah, that's me. Uh, that's amazing. Um, that's, I think I got one more. And which was this one? This one's the last one. This was the last one. So, did you notice that the the kid mad at me? No one happy that day because it's Saria wedding dress, and I. Maybe like yes, yeah. Okay, on more done. I'm on more done. Yeah. And I have to take them because we, we bring only one car. And we, we both didn't know it gonna turn out to be Netflix. Oh, they show us okay. no, it was really amazing. It, I loved watching this. It was like just cooking with home and like family. Yeah. But, okay. That's like uh, you, you at home, you know? Yeah. But that John Fabel home. Yeah. Okay, well, so. With that said, I heard, I heard we might, this, this might have been really long. I don't know how long this was, but this was so amazing. I mean, Jazz, I, have, I don't know what to say except thank you so much for sharing everything you've talked about with me today. It was incredible. Um, I can't wait to do this again. I miss you, and I hope you're safe, and I hope to see you soon. Okay. Uh, what's the, you know, I, wait, what?
ชีฟเบอร์เกอร์ก็ได้เขามีไม่เอาบันนะเอาเอาเอาสลัดดีกว่าเอาสลัดแล้วกันถ้ามีออเดอร์เดอร์ลันคือกัดแอบวิวันกันในอีตลันเชียมาแล้วเหรออ๋อ I have to go see my family right now yep okay anyways Jazz thank you so much I'll 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 keep in touch with you and okay thank you again you're you're amazing love you okay thank you bye สวัสดีครับ Oh, 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 oh,